Hello, I am Ferris Pilot, and you are watching Let's Play The Banner Saga. This is a turn-based RPG slash strategy type game uh, created by a few ex-Bioware game developers. And in any case, we're going to be playing it. You might remember I said we're going to be playing Aliens Isolation next, but uh, we'll occasionally switch between lead characters. Okie dokie. Can you proceed from here? But I lied! Uh, I actually didn't lie. I tried playing that game, but I was not feeling it, so I decided to play Banner Saga instead. There was a lot of... I'm not going to go into it right now. I might make a separate video for that. But the point is, I wasn't enjoying it very much, and so I didn't think the video would be very enjoyable on its own. In any case, let's read this. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving by... Oh, okay. So it just dis disappeared on its own. Fantastic. Created by a company called Stoic. You gotta love that parallax scrolling effect. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand largest of the trade cities on the wild human Seriously, world. the visuals are really pretty. And our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. That's because if Some it's winter the time, in the, caravan the day lasts longer. As a dire omen, I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. Okay, so I guess this is our you little uh, company of people. Travelers about the brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Alrighty. Let's do it. I said, let's do it. Look at, why are our people like so much bigger than the others? I guess we're playing as like these giants, right? These guys are supposed to be giants with like the big horns and stuff. Yeah. Damn, son! It's a pretty nice animation. <laughs> the giants are here to kick some ass! You know what? I approve. <laughs> you just, like, bust down the door and then start murdering people. the hell are you talking about, dude? You have arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking for a tougher fight than they bargained for. Click and drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. So this is the tutorial we're going to play through. These portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are in blue and the enemy is in red. It is your turn to act! We have Shield Banger here. He bangs shields for a living. Now, you know, movement happens before action. The ring shows you that your shield banger is active. You know what? Why do we have a guy who bangs shields? He had better at least be a good fighter, too. Because that's a little bit creepy. Uh, the blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are of a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each. That's actually a pretty cool mechanic. Uh, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Yes, it can. I, I was actually thinking about how a game might implement something like this, I did not know the Banner Saga did so. So I'm interested in uh, seeing how it affects the gameplay. Click the tile you want to move to, then click check mark to continue. Move your shield banger here to get him in attack range. Let's bang some shields, brah. I like their idle animations too, they're pretty nice. <laughs> the little like swing with the sword and stuff. It's cool. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Ally tiles are blue, 
The enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. Okie dokie. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers beneath each icon, 2, 5, 2, 5, what? Oh, the com, yeah. Show the damage you will, oh, this and this, okay. Show the damage you will do to that stat. Well, I mean, if we can do 5 to his health, and he has 5 health, then we should just do that. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of 2 strength means your characters now do 2 less damage. If strength falls to 0, the character falls in battle. Makes sense. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you can, you open them up to take more damage in the future. Makes sense? This enemy has only 5 strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Click fist now to attack his strength, then confirm your choice. Okie dokie. Nice! Bang your shield, dog! He's down. Each time you kill, your renown grows, which is used to later improve your characters. After taking up an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. So, does Renown just make this guy stronger, or does it make, like, the entire party stronger? Although, is this even party-based, or is it, is it just, like, you have individual units, like XCOM? Despite being at full strength, the Chieftains will do little damage, damage against your Shield Banger's armor. Now it is your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use Willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. What is Willpower? That's Willpower. So you have 10 Willpower, 8 Willpower, sorry. By clicking on Gold Tiles, a character can move further than usual at the cost of 1 Willpower per Gold Tile. Red pulsating tiles beneath your enemy show how close you'll have to get to be in range. Move your Warhawk into attack range now. <clears throat> so this will use two willpower, right? Because, yeah, I like how the gold arrow is there to show you that you're using willpower as opposed to just regular movement. I think that's pretty cool. And we click check mark. Oh, it also shows the two willpower when you actually click and are asked to confirm. That's a nice mechanic. Uh, I don't know if it's a mechanic, but it's nice. Oh, is that a polar bear in the corner that they have trapped? That's so sad. Aw. Anyway, standard attacks only affect a single enemy. But your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click your Warhawk's tile to access his ability. Okay. Attack, Tempest, and turn. So, heavy impact. Enemies adjacent to target take one strength damage. Tempest, one normal strength damage to two adjacent enemies, starting from target and going clockwise. Uh, that seems like a pretty sweet attack, dog. Oh, it's going clockwise, so I have to target this guy, right? Not this guy. A description of the ability will appear in the tooltips below. The Warhawk's Tempest allows him to slam multiple enemies at once. Select an enemy and then confirm your choice. So if it goes clockwise, it, you would have to select this guy. Or does it, like, just attack all enemies in this entire pattern? If so, that's a really OP sounding attack. I'm gonna go ahead and attack this guy, though. Sweet! That made quick work of the Chieftain's bodyguards. When there is only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode! During pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. What do you mean, no more guaranteed turns? What's a guaranteed turn? Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. Oh, you mean like the enemy doesn't get guaranteed turns or something like that? If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. The Chieftain will rest this turn. Looks like the Chieftain is in some trouble. Your shield banger won't be able to finish the job with his normal attacks, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Click the Chieftain's tile to attack. Click the fist and the stars above the fist to add willpower. The number of stars available each turn are de determined by your exertion stat. That would be this thing right here. So we get one star. You'll see the damage go up as you add willpower. Click a star and then the green check mark to kill this enemy. So click this, click the star, and green check mark, and he's dead. Sweet. I like how this giant is just like sitting around and leaning against the pillar. Like a rabbit wolf, that one. How did it come to this? 
We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He no, I didn't. The gods die. Watch the chaos that followed. Watch man and bar slaughter each other. Even before the dreads arose. But what is the dredge? Traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. How awful! This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. It is truly the curse of humanity. Wailing merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade. Right, well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wool doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. Okay, this guy's accent is a little bit over the top, I have to say. But man, it looks pain, nice. My friend, help me finish this fight and I'll <coughs> gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Okay. Man, these Varl are freaking badass. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped. <laughs> so, I'm liking this game so far. I think it's pretty cool. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you leave the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Do I just press X? Eirik, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? I'm just here for the tithe. What do you want? It is. Man, this guy looks old and pointy-haired and curly-horned. The government tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Seems a bit chaotic around here, Eirik. It's been worse. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. What does he want exactly? Scalf scalfings that you didn't hack up in the great hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Okay then, Eirik. I I don't know how to go to the dock. I guess this? Those are the docks? Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Hod, I'm not in the mood today. For what? Talking to an idiot. The scalflings chiffed and bled out about an hour ago, Hod. So when you tell me what rats ate... What rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, <laughs> nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to- they don't talk to me! I don't know why this guy has a really bad Russian accent, but he does. Eirik, do you need some help here? Had I had a change of heart, I hope you do give us a hard time. Had sweats, visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these! If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? Let's intimidate him. You motion to Gunolf, your enormous bodyguard who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. God, Cyric! Laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scalfings? Nobleman up by the east wall, but that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Eirik's hand, gathering things up from his howl. Hovel! You know what? I don't... I, doing these accents is actually really difficult, you guys. Disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps over. Are we done here? Gunnulf, you were wearing green back at the Great Hall? No, just bought him a while ago while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. <laughs> you look like a frog. They look good, my friend. I'm glad you care. Gunnulf goes off to look at more stalls. Eirik, that man of yours seemed unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be a scalfing. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these scowls in the ground. I'm going to find him, I'll meet you there. I don't know what the point of these dialogue options are. Shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? 
where is this place again after this? I'm done here. Um, in the ground, where is this place again? Nobleman is halfway up the hill towards the Great Hall. You won't miss it. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. 